Welcome back students. Today we will be doing revision on the subtopic diet from the chapter human nutrition. Diet. The food an animal eats every day is called diet. Most animals need seven types of nutrients in their diet. These are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, water, fiber, vitamins and minerals. These dietary needs depend upon various factors which are mentioned in the table. A balanced diet is a diet that contains all the main nutrients in the correct amounts and proportions to maintain good health. The table displays the function and the sources of the different food types. The next table, the following table tells us about the cause and effect. For example, iron deficiency causes anemia where there are not enough red blood cells so tissues do not get enough oxygen delivered to them. This is because iron is a key component of hemoglobin. We now will discuss what is malnutrition. It is the result of not eating a balanced diet. There may be wrong amount of food, too little or too much of food, incorrect proportion of main nutrients or it also could be lacking in one or more key nutrients. There are different types of malnutrition depending on the cause of the imbalance. They include starvation, coronary heart disease, constipation and obesity. The following table gives you the detailed information about the cause and effect of the same. In many countries in the world, droughts, natural disasters, war and a poor economy can lead to mass malnutrition in large areas of the country. The two types of malnutrition most common in these situations are termed protein energy malnutrition. In short, PEM. They are Vashyokar and Marasmus. Vashyokar is caused by a lack of protein in the diet most common in children under 2. It is often caused by poverty as high protein foods tend to be more expensive and scarer. Children suffering from Vashyokar are always underweight for the age but they often have a swollen abdomen as their diet may contain a lot of carbohydrate. Marasmus, the most severe form of PEM, P -E -M, where there is a lack of both protein and energy in the diet. People suffering from this have a much lower body weight than normal and look emaciated. Coming to the next are the stages of food breakdown. These are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ingestion. We now have a look at the parts of the elementary canal. You can see the passage along which the body food passes through the body and also the accessory digestive structures. The next table shows the different organs and their respective functions. And next we will discuss about the diarrhea causes and treatment. Diarrhea is the loss of watery feces from the anus. If it is severe and continues for a long time, it can lead to death. Severe diarrhea can cause the loss of significant amounts of water and ions from the body, causing the tissues and organs to stop working properly. It can be effectively treated by oral rehydration therapy. This is a drink with a small amount of salt sugar dissolved in it. There are many causes of diarrhea, one of which is infection with Vibrio cholerae bacteria which causes the disease cholera. That's all for today.